let's continue the tour of heroes. So far, we have done the introduction, creating the project, the hero editor, and displaying the list. And we've got something like this. Uh, in this video, we'll create a feature component. And the idea of components is to simplify uh, sort of different sections of the website. Uh, and we can see that we sort of essentially got two components here. We've got this My Heroes section, and then we've got the particular uh, details of that particular hero selected. So the idea would be to separate the concer concerns such that when the code base gets larger, it's much more manageable. So to do that, we will create a feature component and we'll call it hero detail. So we can go ahead and go into the second bash uh, terminal. And if you don't have bash, I've got a whole video on how to install bash, get bash into Visual Studio Code um, to give it a more Linux sort of feel. And we can do ng to use the Angular CLI, then g which is short for generate, C for component, and we've created this components folder. Right now we've only got one folder and in the components folder, so that's why we've got this sort of slash heroes here. But we'll see once we make another folder, and it was called hero detail, uh, we'll create another folder. So that's, once again, it creates the uh, four files, uh, spec file which is for testing that we're not concerned about and then it has the um, you know the template uh, or the HTML the CSS which is empty at the moment and the TypeScript so let's just go ahead and we'll just close a few things up here so we'll just close everything except for the heroes component um, so if we take a look at the hero detail component and the file of interest, we can see that it's created this uh, sort of CSS selector app hero detail, which we can uh, call in different parts to call this component and its template and everything in it. Uh, so this is the basic structure. Um, yep. So yeah, so we're going to separate the uh, this code here. We're going to delete it from here. Do a Control X, and then we're going to paste it in here. And there's no uh, styling on this one, but it does have this uh, data being passed around, and that data isn't defined in here. It is defined in the heroes component. So we will expect an error to occur, and we do get an error. Um, so what we can do is we can import hero, which is the, uh, let's just import that. So that is the interface. Hero property must be an input property annotated with the at input decorator because the external heroes component will bind to it like this. Okay, so that means in so before we had the whole component written out right here, but now we're sort of made it into this component with that selector but we've done this binding so we've bind this property hero which we haven't set just yet uh, to the selected hero and the selected hero is the hero that the particular object hero of the uh, list that item that was selected and so that object will get passed in to that component, but in order for it to uh, 
sort of get in there sort of thing, we have to have an input. Um, so this, this component is essentially uh, a child of this uh, hero detail component. Hero component. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I've actually uh, put this in the wrong file. Uh, let's just check here. Hero detail component. Hero detail component. Hero detail component. Okay, so it's just that we want in the hero detail component, and that is just that. I meant to put this. Here, because that means that this app hero detail is a child essentially of this heroes component. So that means this heroes data, and more specifically the selected hero. So recall that the selected hero is this selected hero by clicking or an event on the LI, passing the hero object. So that object is going to be passed in as an input. So this is the child component on, of this uh, component that it's nested in. And so we'll need an input on that component. And that's from Angular Core. Input. And there's an at sort of decorator sort of thing, I think they call it. Uh, so at input, and that's why we've imported this interface. So here at the top, we can use this at input hero, and that's of type hero. So once again, the child component, which is uh, so essentially we've created this HTML here and this associated TypeScript, which isn't that much just yet. This uh, component will render within this heroes component, meaning it's a child component of the heroes component. So hero detail uh, is a child component of the heroes component. So that means the data from the heroes component TypeScript file, such as the selected hero, needs to be passed in to this particular component so we can access, so we can display, um, you know, all this sort of, uh, you know, hero name and all that sort of stuff that was uh, originally all in one file, but we're separating it, so we need to pass the data in. So to pass the data in from the parent component, we need to have this input of the child component. So the input of the child component can take the data or hero, and that's binded like that, with the square brackets, to this here, selected hero, and then that can get rendered uh, as here, as, uh, in the locations of select, selected hero. Yep. So that's property binding. It's a one way data binding from the selected hero property of the hero's component to the hero property of the target element, which maps the hero property of the hero detail component. Now, when a user clicks a hero in the list, the selected hero changes. When the selected hero changes, the property binding updates hero, and the hero detail component displays the new hero. Cool. So the revised hero component template should look like this, which I think it does. ng4, click, click selected, yep. So that should all be well and good. So now if we click this, we do not see component 
and we don't see it because we have not changed our hero detail component so we've passed in selected hero into that component and so now that's in passed as an input but that input has been called hero rather than uh, selected hero so what we can do is we can do a control alt d oh sorry control d oh i'll just do control d control d control d select all of the that and rename that to hero so now when we save that we should be able to yeah we do get the associated uh, correct output corresponding to whatever id we click so that is a feature component uh, in the next video we'll look at adding a service